In this video, I'm gonna make a short hands-on demo and review of Drupal CMS 1.0. Today it's 17th January and Drupal CMS 1.0 came out. Two days ago, uh, let's open up the official blog post. And as you see, it was announced 15 January, Drupal CMS 1.0 is available now. We are excited to share that Drupal CMS 1.0 has officially launched. This new platform is designed to make it easier than ever for marketers and content teams to create amazing digital experiences, all while staying true to Drupal's open source roots. Getting started in minutes, so yeah. Uh, okay, this is some slide desks. Um, so Drupal CMS come with what is called recipes. So you can select pre-configured um, configurations uh, to say it like that. Um, Drupal CMS is packed with features to make your life easier. Quick step with smart defaults. That's the recipe, um, as I understand, for common tasks as to get up and running quickly. Uh, also, it comes with AI tools. I can, I, we will demo that, or I will demo that in the future, so we can see it, how that looks like. Pre-configured features for site search and media management, easier integration with popular marketing tools, etc., etc. Automatic updates. That's a big one. Drupal CMS is all about making Drupal more accessible without losing its flexibility and scalability. Drupal CMS is built on, a Dru on Drupal Core, so it's fully compatible with the broader Drupal ecosystem with all its tools and multilingual sites, content and workflows and more. I think this is important to mention. Um, I think uh, there is a little bit of a confusion if we talk about Drupal, we typically or we used to talk about Drupal as the Drupal CMS, but actually now uh, there is a, a differentiation. So when you go now on drupal.org, and I think it's important to yeah actually clarify that, you see um, now we have Drupal Core, which what we formerly used to call the Drupal CMS, but now the Drupal CMS is its own um, kind of package, which comes uh, with its own um, out of the box features, and this is now what is called Drupal CMS 1.0. Drupal Core actually is now the official Drupal Core um, latest release is Drupal 11. I think this is not very well communicated in a sense, but Drupal CMS you could say is the product. Drupal Core is the framework where Drupal CMS is built on top of it. And for example, we as an agency, so I run NetNode, Drupal agency, we, we, we build Drupal sites for, uh, I don't know, 15, 15 years now. Typically what we build, we build on top of Drupal core and then we build our applications on top of it. But now with Drupal CMS, there is a new way to kickstart sites. And as it's saying here, it's still compatible with the broader uh, Drupal ecosystem, which is very, very powerful. What else we have here? Dive in and see how Drupal CMS can transform your digital experience at Drupal, blah, blah, blah. Free trials also available. Okay, Drupal CMS 1.0 pre pre presents the collective effort of hundreds of contributors, agencies and organizations who believe in the power of open source to transform the web. We can't wait to what you build. Okay, some promotion about AI. There it still work to be done for Drupal to fully meet the needs of marketers. So expect regular updates and new features as part of our three-year strategy. We plan to introduce new features like the Experience Builder, a visual tool designed to make creating digital experience simpler and more intuitive. The first version of Experience Builder 1.0 is expected to launch later in 2025. I think this is important to mention. I think the Experience Builder solution which will be built into the Drupal CMS is again would be again a game changer for what's possible with Drupal. I won't dive into that because it's not released yet and uh, so we will I can cover that anytime in the future. Today it's a day to celebrate a wonderful people of Drupal communities get together globally at more than 60 parties including an online party anyone can tune into, let's stop, etc., etc. So that's nice. Um, so Drupal CMS 1.0 is released. 
And now let's get started. So actually I want to install it locally, start building with Drupal CMS. So now they kind of try to that I feel it out here, but I actually want to download it. So where is the download link at the bottom? Uh, why not is it at the top? That's a little bit sad. Drupal download Drupal CMS. Okay, here I can start either with Drupal core or with Drupal CMS. Could use um, PHP composer, but actually um, I use ddef uh, and I already did that before. So here on my computer, I already downloaded it, the package, and now I'm gonna launch the Drupal CMS shell. And this will then execute the installation of the Drupal ecosystem or the Drupal site. Um, and now, yeah, it's booting up DDEF. DDEF is a local development environment. I won't explain that here. Now I do DDEF launch, or I can just open up this site locally. So this is what I do. And then uh, DDEF launch, or I just open up this link here. And now I'm at the installer and this is already quite cool it looks nice getting started you can select pre-configured type of content now or add them later so what i what do i want on my site um, well i want to add a blog and maybe i also want to add um, okay let, let just let's start with vlog so i install that my drupal site so I need to create a login. Oops. Um, okay, so I finish. So this takes a moment to install and I already see that um, modules get installed. And well, basically this is very cool because in the past when you install Drupal core, you had to know which modules are the good modules and you had to install it manually. Well, if you are an expert and already use Drupal for a long time, um, that's not an issue. But for new people uh, that want to try out Drupal and they only install Drupal core without these additional, let's say, best plugins you anyway will install to make Drupal actually make useful, that was kind of an issue. So yeah, now after a couple of uh, seconds, I have my Drupal site installed and that already looks very nice. So it seems that Drupal CMS comes with a dashboard. That's already cool. I also see that there are some default contents already. I can immediately start creating content. That's also nice. So let's see if I want to access the site. So I'm already here. So this is my site, looks nice. And I have everything I typically expect from a Drupal site. So I can start editing content. Um, so just add some numbers there, hit save and it's updated. So that's nice. Uh, so there is also the blog. Yeah, this is already the blog, okay. So now I want to try out um, and install another package or another recipe. So here I go to extend and then recipes. And then if I'm there, I again see, I think these are the same recipes as on the installer. So now I'm, for example, able to install projects or events. So let's install events and maybe also the projects. So that's also very powerful. So um, for me as a yeah long-term Drupal user, this is feels almost like uh, magic. And oh, that was very quick as well. So, okay, I get some information about the projects. So now let's see, I go to create content and now I'm able to create, oh, I have to refresh, I guess. 
and now uh, there should be a new content type events and projects yeah so this is an event it's nice event one let's add a media element here oh nice picture from DrupalCon Barcelona I think I should be somewhere on this picture um, all right, so then I hit save and let's see, I get a preview of the event. I can then also publish it. So that's nice. And then I have an event. Oh, okay, here I have the overview of, of the stuff. So there is an events overview and also the projects overview. Okay, that was very smooth, I would say. So this is the project detail page. Let's see about the content type. Yeah, so this recipe, the project recipe, as well as the event recipe came with a couple of fields or the content type, which with a couple of fields, that feels very straightforward, very nice. All right, so um, I heard that there is some AI features available. So let's see if I can um, use that. And as I understand, I also need to install the recipes, the AI recipe. And in the meantime, I go to, I just put, take that to the other screen. So I will, I know that we will need a key, um, an API key of OpenAI. Uh, okay, so I installed it. Now I have to create a new key. Um, so this is it. Um, you can copy it if you want. I will delete this key so it won't work on your installation. So I save that. Now it's installing it. The additional AI modules needed. Let's see how that works. All right, so now we have a chat, the Drupal agent chatbot. I am a Drupal AI assistant. I can help you set up your Drupal site. I can give you instructions and I can also do some functions. Okay, so now what I want to do um, just as a demo, um, I need a iPhone content type because I want to create an overview of all iPhones ever created. Come up with a data structure. So yeah, I want as as we saw before as a, like an event or project. Now I want a new content type, um, and I say just come up and make up some fields that make sense. Obviously, I could also define the, the fields, but I'm lazy and I want the Drupal agent to think for me. And now it comes up, okay, I suggest create an iPhone content type in your Drupal site with the following fields to manage necessary information. Content type iPhone, this will hold entries for each iPhone model. Then we have model name, release date, okay, that looks very nice. Uh, would you like to proceed with creating the iPhone? Yes. And yeah, actually this is super powerful because um, just by writing a couple of phrases, it will yeah, take only a couple of seconds to generate the needed um, yeah, features and configurations. If I would do that by hand, it's certainly possible, but it will take quite some time, right? And now uh, the Drupal agent can take that work for me. Um, it seems to take quite some time. Let's see if that works. Yep, 
Yeah, so overall, um, the experience so far is very, very positive. I think uh, there was no, um, I was not very confused. Everything was very straightforward so far. Um, and um, so, yeah, I like that. So now it says, I've successfully created the iPhone content type with the fields outlined. And then, yeah, all the fields. So that, that's very nice. So I, I think I have to refresh again. Now create, I can now create an iPhone. And boom, I have it now. I can say, okay, iPhone 3, battery life. I don't know, one hour camera specification, description, color options. This, this looks a little bit weird here. Uh, create media, gallery, model name, launch price. Okay, that's nice. So I can hit save and voila, I have my structured content for this iPhone content type. Of course, this content type is not uh, fully configured yet. Um, what I can do, I have full control over the content types through the... Yeah, through the Drupal CMS um, admin interface. And as you see here, I could go to each of them and actually change the change the, um, the configurations if I want to. Um, but I don't want to at the moment. This was just a demo how easy it is actually to generate content times through the Drupal agent. Yeah, very nice. Um, so now I think I will for the moment stop the video or the review. Um, so that was interesting. I think for a 1.0 release of a product that was in development for less than or for roughly eight months now, that's a big, big step. And as I said before, everything went smooth and yeah, it feels very polished Um and it feels very drupal -y. It's still Drupal. It's a Drupal CMS, obviously. Uh, we have um, built such experiences as part of the agency and also note-hived our headless um, product that is built on top of Drupal. It looks very, very similar. However, this to have as a yeah, one-time installer, including the Drupal agent and everything, wow. Congratulations uh, to the community. This is really, really good stuff. Um, actually, I wanted to try out something. Um, now create three, uh, three create the content for iPhone 4, iPhone 5 and iPhone 6. Just curious if it actually can also create content. So now I would expect that it knows that there is a content type iPhone and now it's generating content for that. Uh, I see. I'm currently unable to create actual content nodes for, for iPhone models. However, I can guide you through the process. So I could go to the content page. I could add the content and then add, enter the, the data obviously manually, um, but it's interesting that it came up with the data, uh, but it could obviously could not create the content directly to the Drupal system. That would be a very cool next step, and I'm pretty sure um, that it's possible at one point, maybe it is, uh, if I would install other modules as well, which I'm obviously um, able to because it's completely open source and easy yeah, to extend. Um, as it was uh, mentioned before, it integrates with the existing Drupal ecosystem. Yeah, very nice. So this was my little review about the Drupal CMS hands-on demo and review. I'm super curious what you think about Drupal CMS, um, whether you're going to use it, and um, yeah, if you actually like it, stay tuned and see you in the next one.